is it okay if I jump on for a few minutes? Sure. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> this is trying to like stop part. what I'm doing while he does this. That's what happened when your boss is in his office trying to look at images in the lab computer. Just hijack it or promote desktop in and, and freak people out. Sarah, tell this tell me this fun thing that we're gonna do right now. So we have this sample. Okay, let's get to the look at the sample. Get a look at that. And the crystal has melted in most places. But we'd really like to keep the mount underneath it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna melt the rest of the crystal off. And so we're going to try to get as much of the stuff off of the top as possible before we melt it. But then we'll put it in the chamber, turn it upside down, crank it up, and hopefully molten copper will fall from the sky. So the uh, crystal melted because of uh, a little lap accident. You know, it's, it's contained in the chamber, not, not a big accident. But we're going to take care of this. Sarah's super excited about the sample. Melting the copper yeah. and there we go we got some audience here jake see what and happens. andy it's gonna be great Well, the copper is kind of gone. Now it's just like the button heater left there. So earlier, Sarah was uh, melting a copper sample off a heater. Mm -hmm. Now you're going hot, 1200 C, annealing a sample. It's at least that. Oh yeah, that's hot. Did you see the video? Oh, you did. So uh, we're at a old bag of nails. Uh, Got to eat all fish and chips uh, because Andy has never been here before. And also, I'm kind of celebrating that my paper got accepted to a journal. First, first author paper. This is a good thing. Uh, everyone's here. Uh, and then a uh, magician to show up at our table, play some card tricks, and then uh, have us sign one of the cards and stick it onto the ceiling. So, uh, so yeah, that was cool. So good. So good. It's a Saturday. Saturday. TC and I are here working. Uh, we're doing graphene. We also are writing uh, an SOP for growing graphene so that anyone who can read and have a proper training can actually grow graphene on their own in the future. So, so far it's looking really good that the manual that we put together. So, that's great. TC also did a edit on the hydrogen cracker section
and apparently I since I, I made a shutter, my name's in the manual. It's official now. And that's the shutter right there. So this one right here. Initially it's like part of uh, my keychain um, where I made like a keychain where it's like kind of like a folding knife kind of type style of keychain and I, I stamped my name on it. Uh, that piece of uh, aluminum is actually thin enough to be used as a shutter in a, in a chamber so repurpose that since uh, I got a newer version of the key, uh, keychain holder thing and that became the chunk shutter. Sample is glowing hot at 900 degrees Celsius right there. The important part of this manual is like uh, this line right here. Don't want to go above 900 degrees Celsius when we're growing this because then uh, the sample could melt and we've seen what happened when the sample got melted uh, earlier, right? So definitely don't want to go above that. So we'll finish the uh, growth cycle of the graphene. This is the plot of the temperature cycle where you ramp up from like room temperature to like 980 back to room temperature and keep doing the cycle a few times to increase the coverage of graphene. Uh, well, this doesn't go to room temperature because there's some background measurement when we measure the temperature, but that's technically room temperature. But yeah, looks pretty good there. So right now I'm just uh, waiting for the lead OJ equipment to warm up to get to operating uh, parameters. And uh, for that, we're going to look at it and see what's what we have on the surface roughly with the OJ spectroscopy. Hopefully this time we'll, uh, we'll be getting some carbon on the surface and not just sulfur like we did last time.